Hi everyone, today I will demonstrate with you how I scan my patient for thyroid gland. First of all, I'm going to shoot the best probe that I can use. Here I have two linear probes, one with 15 megahertz. It will give me high resolution and the other one with 9 megahertz. First, I'm going to start with this probe. If I have a muscular patient or have short neck, then I will move to the other one. I'm going now to shoot the 15 megahertz probe. Just the machine pre-sitting by shoes thyroid. And here we have our patient lying subine and we put a pillow under his shoulder in order to extend his neck. I will bring probe and put it above to the sternal notch. When I put the probe here, as we can see in the screen, we have the thyroid. Here I have the isthmus and here we have the trachea. When I move to the right of the neck, we can see the right loop. And here we have the left loop. And here we have the oesophagus and we can see the strap muscle. First, we will scan entire isthmus. I will slide my prop superior and inferior in order to cover the all isthmus looking for any abnormality. Then I will freeze and will take the AB diameter of the isthmus. Now I will scan the right loop. I will move prop superior until to cover the whole loop and I will move backward inferior looking for any abnormalities. As we can see here, we have by accident multiple cysts. It look like colloid cyst. In order to make sure that I'm dealing with cysts, I'm going to apply color box to make sure that there is no any internal vascularity. As we can see here, no internal vascularity with this cystic legion. Now I'm going to split image to measure the right loop size here in transfers and here in sagittal plane. Whatever the measure you use it volume or just three diameter from transfer measure the AB diameter and then you will measure the widths and then from the sagittal plane you will measure from superior to inferior the length of the thyroid. After that scan thyroid on sagittal plane and I will try to cover the whole clan looking for any abnormality that you could pick up. Now we will apply the color box to check the vascularity and this it will help us in many abnormality. After you finish with the right loop, do the same to the left loop. Now after I finish from the thyroid, I'm going to check the neck looking for suspicious lymph node. I will start by putting prop in the neck. First, I will check the upper neck, then mid neck, then lower neck. Or we can call it level 2, level 3, level 4. I will start by putting prop here. And as we can see here in the screen, we have multiple lymph nodes, sub-centimetric, perceived the hilum. And either you will measure the width or the AB diameter, whatever the measure you relay on it. And the most important thing that you have to check the supraclavicular region by positioning prop like this, looking for supraclavicular lymph node and here no any suspicious lymph node after that i'm going to check the submental region also looking for the lymph node we'll come here and check like this as we can see here we have submental lymph node which should look normal so that's all of it for the thyroid gland and thanks for watching us